Hello students, welcome to my new lecture where we will discuss about the Kruskal's algorithm. So first of all, we see the introduction of the uh, Kruskal's algorithm. It was developed by the J.B. Kruskal. This algorithm is used to find the minimum spanning tree of any given undirected graph. And it gives the minimum spanning tree in very easy way. It starts with the cheapest edge. It is based on the concept of the disjoint sets. Its performance is better, that is, it performs faster when we uh, operate it on the sparse graphs. The time complexity of the Kruskal's algorithm is big O of E log E, where E is the total number of edges in the given undirected graph. Now, let us see the statements of the Kruskal's algorithm, how we perform different steps. So first of all, we see the step one, in which we make a table or list of edges in the increasing order of their weights. Means the smallest edge is, the smallest weight edge is on the first step and on the second position, the second larger weight and so on. Now, select the edges from the table from top to bottom order. Means first of all, we select the first edge and when we process the first edge, then we select the second edge. After processing the second edge, we take third edge and so on until the list is exhausted. But we add that selected edge only if it does not make any cycle in the graph. Means if the selected edge belongs to the disjoint sets, as you know that the Kruskal's method is based on the concept of the disjoint sets. Therefore, if the selected edge belongs to the two different sets, then we join those edges or we can say only then we add that edge in our spanning tree but if they are belongs to the same set, then we avoid such edges. Means in that case, we do not add that edge in our spanning tree. These step two and step three are repeated until either we get n minus one edges in the spanning tree, n minus one means n is the total number of vertices. So if there are five vertices and we get four edges, so you can stop the procedure. So repeat step two and three until there are n minus one edges in the spanning tree or the list is exhausted, means all the edges of the list from top to bottom are processed. So let us see an example and apply the Kruskal's method to find the minimum spanning tree and also calculate the total weight of this minimum spanning tree. This is the given graph. All the weights are mentioned on the edges. Uh, we have to start with the making the uh, list of edges. So first of all, we form a table of edges and in such a manner that the weights are in their increasing order. So this is the table where there are only two entries, edges and their weights. So first of all, we uh, since we have to make this table in increasing order, so the lowest weight in this given graph is one. And there are three ones, AB, FB, and CD. So we write AB weight one, BF weight one, CD weight one. Now the second highest weight is two. And the weight two is of two edges, AG and EF. So include these two edges in our list. And these edges A, G and E, F with weight 2 are included in the list. Now the second highest weight is 3, which is of uh, edge B, C and F, G. So include also B, C and F, G in the list. 
the next highest weight is 4 and 4 is also repeated uh, one uh, weight 4 is for the edge BG and another is for the edge BE so include these two BG and BE with their weights 4 in the list the next higher uh, next highest weight is 5 which is of the edge GE and DE GE and DE so include these two edges also and the next and last weight is uh, 6 which is corresponding to the edge CE so include CE also so the list is now completed because all the edges are now covered in increasing order of their weights now we have to select these edges from top to bottom so uh, so first of all we have to select these edges but before uh, selection and inclusion of these edges in our spanning tree we have to make a, a set where every vertex is, is in the a separate set there are uh, vertices a b c d e f and g so we make these seven sets a b set c set d set e set f and g all are separate sets now we select edges from top to bottom first of all we select the edge a b since a and b are belongs to the two different sets means they belongs to the disjoint sets therefore we can add them in our spanning tree so let us add we have added a b so we changes the color from green to red and a and b which are uh, in the separate sets after joining these two edges these two vertices they uh, lies in the same set so combine a and b in the same set now next select the edge b f the edge B and F, B belongs to this set AB and F is a separate set means B and F belongs to the disjoint sets or two different sets therefore we can add them. So let us add them. So B and F is added and AB is combined with set F so there are three members in the set A, B and F. Next edge is CD. Select CD. Since C and D both belongs to the disjoint sets, therefore we again add these two and uh, we can add the uh, set uh, edge CD in our spanning tree. So add CD and combine these two sets in one set. The next edge is AG. We have to process the list from top to bottom. So the next uh, edge is AG. A and G both belongs to two different sets. A belongs to set ABF and G is a separate set. Means both A and G both are from the disjoint set. So we can easily add these two vertices or means we can add edge AG to our spanning tree. So let us add AG is added in our list. The next EF. You can notice that E and F are from the separate sets. F belongs to A, B, F, G set and E belongs to the set E. So we can combine them or we can say that we can add edge EF to our spanning tree. So EF is also added to our spanning tree and E and F are combined here. You can see first of all F is in the set ABFG and E is separate. So after combining or adding uh, edge EF, we can combine E with the set ABFG. So this set becomes ABFG and E. And the second uh, set is CD. So there are only two sets. Now we proceed down and the next edge is BC. B and C both are from different sets. B belongs to the set A, B, F, G, E and C belongs to the set C, D. Therefore, B and C are from the 
disjoint set so we can combine them or we can say that the edge bc can be added in the uh, spelling tree so bc are also added therefore we get a complete one set because cd is added with the abfge so we get a single set and you can also notice that the total number of edges in our spelling tree are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 which is equal to n minus 1 n minus 1 means n is the total number of vertices and the vertices are 7 so 7 minus 1 6 so we can stop our procedure because the set is a single set now there are no uh, members that belongs to the two different sets or disjoint sets so we can uh, stop our procedure but we can also check the other edges that whether we have to add these edges to our spanning tree or not so let us see check fg fg both are belongs to the same set because f is also the member of set ab fg ecd and g is also a member of set ab fg ecg ecd therefore we cannot uh, join these two uh, f and g in our spanning tree again check for bg b and g both are from the same set so we cannot add them in our spanning tree next is be but both b and e are from the same set so we cannot add them to the spanning tree next is eg e and g are from the same set so we cannot add them similarly de and ce we also cannot add them to our spanning tree in this way the list is also exhausted so either you can stop at that uh, point or you can also proceed until the list is exhausted both will give you the same result so finally we can see that the green part is omitted and we select only the red part red edges and uh, vertices so we get this type of spanning tree it is a tree because there is no cycle and the total weight of this uh is spanning tree is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 means 10 units so this is our final answer so thanks for watching i hope you will understand the concept of the cross curves method very easily as per the promise of the channel easy learning with krishna so please like subscribe and comment on this channel my channel name is easy learning with krishna so thanks uh, thank you and thanks for your great support